Hi everyone, um, just want to show off an unboxing of a, uh, just picked up this SCX24. Um, I got this instead of the new Enduro uh, 24th scale crawler. Um, even though I have an Enduro, I really like the Enduro, but the, the, their version of it um, kind of seems underwhelming. I've read that it's a rebrand of a RGT. Um, and it comes with a one cell battery and um, and I really don't like the body so uh, I've had my eye on 24th scale um, axial um, didn't like the Jeeps and then they came out with the trucks um, I like the trucks better and um, uh, I really like this uh, like charcoal gray color um, Hopefully we'll do some modifications to it in the future with a uh, weight distribution, uh, maybe a new motor, um, and uh, maybe some custom lighting. So uh, let's open it up. Um, hopefully we'll just kind of drive this around inside and um, eventually take it outside. I have a little custom track in the backyard. Um, we'll probably have to modify that for the 24th scale. But it should be fun. Um, heard the uh, custom um, charger or the, the stock charger, I mean, um, is absolutely horrible uh, when it comes to charging the battery. Not only is it slow, but it has no balance um, balance port to it, um, and it creates a lot of problems with the battery. With the, with the lipo that comes with it, um, 2S lipo. So um, I plan to do some custom soldering um, and, and create my own battery charging lead. Um, so this is like the USB charger, which in essence would be great for on the road. You could, you know, plug this into um, to you know your phone um, battery bank like this and charge it up on the road which you could do um i've just i think it uh just overcharges the battery probably doesn't do it at the right amperage um and, and there's no um no no balance no balance charging so i mean i don't know why they do this i know it's cheap but um the balance charging for lipos is key and so you you get a good charge and and you can put it on storage charge so um i thought it would come with a uh, female i think it's a jst plug um i thought that's what it was gonna be but it looks like it's built into the charger i was just gonna you know cut it off and solder it but um luckily i have some uh, on the way from AliExpress, so I'll have to wait um, and, and make my own custom charger in the future. So here's the charger. Got the truck. Comes with a uh, nice controller. I have big hands, so uh, this is actually like almost you know like a full size controller, um, radio, whatever you want to call it. Um, looks like it takes double A's. Um, let's take this off. And it's kind of, I like these the remotes that uh, cover all your settings so you can lock in the settings and throw this in a bag and not worry about your settings being changed, you know, getting bumped around. So that's nice. Um, I believe this has a third channel. Yeah. So that'll be nice for uh, lights. But I, I plan to do um, four-wheel steering, so I'm planning to do another servo in the back, and um, so I think that'll work out work out good. Um, feels good in the hand, so I think that'll work out just fine. It's nice that it comes with it's, uh, some double A's, and it looks like it comes with some some hood clips, you know, the the body clips, a chintzy little, I think it's like a .5 hex. Um, driver, just a, uh, you know, Allen key basically, some custom um, links and drive shafts, um, I'll have to check that out.
and um, instruction manual. Let's see. I know there's there's always some kind of uh, zip tie or something with these. Um, so let's see if we can get that off. These are, for some odd reason, these are uh, bigger than I expected, which is kind of nice. Um, be interesting to wrench on these things uh, because of the small screws and stuff. But um, yeah, it's nice. It's got a uh, good articulation. Um, there's no foam in the tires. They sound like dog toys when you squeeze them. You know, they get that little squeak to them. Um, metal frame rails and plastic links. So um, this should be a should be a fun little. I wouldn't call it a toy, it's a it's a hobby. Um, but I plan to move the battery up front and kind of low center of gravity right here. Move the ESC into the back to get the right proportion, add some brass, another servo in the back for four wheel steering, maybe a brushless motor in the, the future, um, and maybe some um, custom wheel weights, um, some lead weights or something. So I will make another video in the future. Thanks for watching.